fairly simple example of blackout poetry with Makey Makey for teenagers. Basically, you let teens explore how they can draw the circuit. A lot of times it helps to uh, put the signal that you're going to be, the key input you're going to be using. So, like this first one's just going to do up, and this is going to do down. And also, since I'm using an old book, um, I use an index card on the back to kind of give the alligator clip something to clip to. And they're just going to clip directly onto the paper. So the graphite, you'll notice too, is like really thick. It gets smudgy on my finger. So sometimes you do have to redraw to get your uh, circuit working. So if I hold earth and I touch the poem, Worrying. since I've programmed it Corrected. in scratch, since I've programmed it in scratch, it is now going to make all the sounds for me when I touch it, so. Worrying. Corrected. Rude. Stop. <sighs> Breathe. Nothing personal. Happier. So what I like about using Scratch to record poetry is that students can record their words and their phrases with tone and emphasize the words correctly. But what's even more fun is that with Scratch, I can kind of put the sounds together in a way that it wouldn't be possible if I were trying to speak them. So it can be more like my actual inner thoughts. So you might be wondering, how do you make it? Look for some words you like in some pages of an old book or a newspaper. Look for phrases. And then look at how you can combine those. And you're going to draw each recording you want to make. It wants to be its own square. So here's a box and I've drawn around it and I'm going to have two boxes and see if one lights up the up key and one lights up the left key. Do they light up? Then they work. And if I wanted to add that as one big talking point, I could just draw the circuit back together. So continue doing that till you have a full poem. advanced blackout poetry example. I put it on a clipboard so I could attach my alligator clips to a, a nice steady surface. I'm actually using the metal on the clip as earth. I kind of got that idea from Chibitronics and our guide has that in it. But also another idea I got from Chibitronics was since I thought it'd be cool to put the pages on here so that this looks like a face, like kind of a sad face. There's a little bit of abstract art going on. Um, I thought I could bridge the circuit where the paper is off with this little conductive fabric tape. So, now, let's hear my creepy Halloween poem. Out cold. I can touch here. Dropped consciousness. Poor head. What am I missing? Breath Breath taking. Taking. Yeah, yeah. 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 I'm slightly puzzled. Time to worry. Look out, go, 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 troubleshooting when you're drawing your circuits on this one Breath, Breath, right, 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 right. Yeah, yeah. both of my to worry. connections are going off at the same time so if I look at my circuit that I've drawn I can kind of see that there's just a little bit too much pencil lead here so hopefully I can erase that connection and now I've kind of got a pretty clear line it's kind of hard when you're drawing with the 6B pencils, but now that box is separate from the other box. So let's see if I fixed it or not. Red, 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 red. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I got it. I'm slightly puzzled. So? Time to worry. That's how you troubleshoot, and you can actually just erase your circuits. <laughs>